I'm Zia Dalla, and I'm gonna be running a little quick workshop today, um, giving you some tips about how to write a song. And one of the first things that you should keep in mind is that it's better to write a song with a clear mind. So you might be feeling a lot of emotions right now, feeling like there's something that you really want to write about. But the best way to actually start this process is to dump everything that you have going on in your mind onto a piece of paper. So one activity that I really like to use is called stream of consciousness. You put a timer on for five minutes and you just write non-stop about anything that comes to your mind. That is supposed to unleash your creativity and get your mind flowing so you don't actually get stuck when you get into the song. Number two is understanding what a song is. One of my favorite songwriters is probably Paul McCartney from The Beatles. So think about a song like Here Comes the Sun, right? So it starts off with a chorus and then verse. And then you have another chorus, another verse, a bridge, sometimes another chorus, and sometimes the chorus is actually called the intro. So this would be a standard pop structure that a lot of songs use. So if you're gonna think about the song Here Comes the Sun, it would go, Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Okay, so that's the chorus, and that's actually the part that gets repeated throughout the song. So that's going to form the main part of your song, which is very important. And then we have the verse, which It's been a long, cold, lonely winter. So the chorus is the parts that you keep generally the same, and the verses are the things that change. Now we're going to get into how to write a chorus. Maybe you want to write a song about how you're feeling right now. So you might be feeling anxious or scared, right? So you're going to take that word, and you're gonna put it inside of a brainstorm cloud. And now, you wanna think of all the words that come to your mind when you think of the word skip. Maybe darkness, unknown, fear, life, anxiety. Coronavirus. Thank you to my helpers. Anything else that comes to mind? Media. No. Media. That's good, that's good. All right, so you're feeling like there's a lot of things. Misinformation. Maybe you feel lost. You're feeling all these things right now. The next step is actually to pick three of your favorite words that you see up there. Anxiety, life. You're gonna create sentences or statements based on these words. Maybe you might want to write something like, life can remind me of the darkness. So at times I feel anxiety. Fear takes over. There are many unknowns. Nothing fancy here, just making statements about the way that we feel and also using these words. So the next step that I like to do is to imagine that maybe some of these sentences are actually going to form the lyrics of my chorus. This is the part where you actually want to get a little bit more technical and employ some poetic techniques. Some poetic techniques that we might have include uh, rhyme, repetition, similes. So you want to compare two things using the words like or as. Like or as. I'll just move this word right here and hope that it disappears forever. <laughs> <laughs> and metaphors. We have alliteration. Oh, what's a metaphor actually? If we take it back a step. So a metaphor is when you're making a direct comparison and it's almost like a figure of speech. So it doesn't really make sense, but you're saying that something is something. So for example, a simile would be, he was as tall as a tree. And if you're gonna turn that same sentence into a metaphor, you would say, he is a tree. So now someone can't be a tree, but metaphorically speaking, they can be a tree. They could be flowy, right? They could be chill, um, they could be very green. So now we want to try and incorporate some poetic techniques. So if we come back to our sentences over here, what I like to do is to think of rhyming words based on the last word of each of these sentences. So if we think about the word darkness, so let's put a rhyme box here. What rhymes with darkness? Hardness. Hardness. Thank you. Starkness. Pardon. Pardon? This is what you would call a near rhyme. So they don't necessarily end in the same letters, but they still sound the same. And a lot of rappers um, and a lot of songwriters would use near rhymes as well. What about the word anxiety? Sometimes you can use a couple of words as well. So what came to mind right now was inside of me. 
surprises me. Dynasty. All right, one more word. Dynasty. Beautiful. What kind of rhymes can we think for unknown? Rose. Rose. Unknowns. Rose. Tones. Bones. Now we have these sentences, and now we have a whole rhyme box that we can use to create more sentences that we can add to what we have here. So life can remind me of the darkness. Sometimes it fills me with this hardness, right? Sometimes, at times I feel anxiety. It rises up inside of me, right? What about this last one? Fear takes over, there are many unknowns. Feel it all the way straight to my bones. So it's about creating sentences with the words that you have. So once we have that, we can implore more poetic techniques. So maybe there's a line that you might like, like there are many unknowns. I'm gonna bring it to you with all these different tones. You have to also um, be able to play around with it. So sometimes you're gonna say some whack things like a lot of freestylers do, but that's also where it starts. You have to let go of all of your inhibitions and accept the fact that you're gonna write some crazy stuff but it's okay and it's all a process and you're just gonna get better and better the more that you do this. We can turn some of it into metaphors. So maybe if you want to be, um, you know, really emphasize the way that the darkness makes you feel, you can say that life is darkness. I mean, that's really, that's really glum. But if you're feeling like that, you can turn that into a metaphor, right? So at times I feel anxiety. It rises up like, butterflies in your stomach, right? At times I feel like anxiety, it rises up like butterflies inside of me. So because I use the word like, that's a simile. So at times I feel anxiety, it rises up like butterflies inside me. And that's gonna give people some imagery as well. Like people can imagine what a butterfly looks like. So when you say, at times I feel anxiety, it feels like butterflies rising up inside of me. They can actually have that picture of butterflies rising up inside of them. And the point of people writing songs is that they want to connect with people. So if you're writing something about how you feel and you're, you're really clever with your words and how you describe it, the other people who are listening to the song will also be able to, to feel it. Yeah. So this is how you would write it. And I guess you could use the same process when you go to write your verse as well. So at times I feel anxiety. It rises up like butterflies inside me. Maybe I really like that line, so I want to repeat it. And repetition is another awesome technique that you can use. So for you out there who maybe play an instrument or something like that, this is where the music would come in. You could pick up a guitar and learn how to play some chords. Um, or learn some chords on the piano, or even jump on a lot of those beat making software um, that is available online and it's free as well. And there are tutorials online on how you can do this, but today I'm gonna show you with a guitar. If I want to talk about me feeling scared, then I wanna find music that will sort of um, emphasize that feeling. So that kind of feels like unknown and unscared. Maybe I can work with that, right? So. At times I feel anxiety. It rises up like butterflies inside of me. And that's not perfect yet, but what you can do is muck around and just play different chords and make different shapes and keep making up melodies until you have something that you're happy with. Thank you. Oh, hey guys. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hope you stay out safe out there with the coronavirus. Hope you got bulk. Hope you learned a lot of things from this workshop. I hope you can take it with you into the future. Peace.